guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally going to be sharing with you guys my full home tour. So we are actually about to be moving out of this house. So before we move, I thought I would take you guys around and show you the before of the listing photos when we bought the house about three years ago and how it looks now after we've lived here, invested here, designed here, all of the things. So hope that you guys enjoy it. If you're just stumbling upon this video, I'm Noelle. Welcome. I make new videos like this every single week showing you guys how to get the high looking home that you want at a price point that you can afford. So a lot of these items in my home are either thrifted, DIY, really good dupes for more high-end pieces, things like that. So if you like this kind of thing, definitely consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. We are completely renovating the new house that we just bought. So if you haven't already seen that home tour, I will link that in the description box below and in a card up here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this home tour. Starting off in the entryway, the biggest thing that we did in here was adding this faux shiplap and peg rail to add some more detail to the space. It's also super handy for hanging things like backpacks and purses, things like that. We also added some dimension by painting it with accessible beige and then painting the front door black magic. Through the entryway is our living room. So here is what it looked like before and now. The biggest change we made was painting the fireplace black to make it more of a statement and I really, really love what it adds to the space. This console table is one of my favorite DIYs and the perfect filler for this empty wall over here. I've mostly decorated it with thrifted finds and I love all of the character that that adds. And these are my new favorite pillow covers. They are so affordable and look exactly like the really pricey ones, so I'll have those linked below as well. I'm a huge fan of contrast and design, so I love this white floor lamp right beside the black fireplace. I really love the look of lots of layers in a space and think it makes it feel really warm and cozy and collected. My base layer is a good rug and I love the colors in this one. It's neutral but still has a little bit of color and it goes really great in a lot of spaces and the pattern definitely mimics the look of a real vintage rug. Off of the living room is our eat-in kitchen dining area. We used bench seating on either side of the table to really maximize the space and used a black pendant to draw your eye upward. Incorporating a mirror into the space also really helps to make it feel more spacious. I always recommend creating some type of drop zone in the kitchen because we know it will happen anyways. So I used this basket to catch all of those kinds of things and it kept the decor pretty simple over here. Our kitchen hasn't really changed aside from paint and decor, but decorating really adds personality to a space. So if you aren't able to renovate, you can still make a really big impact by incorporating pieces that you love. 
I'm a huge fan of art in the kitchen, so I really felt like this empty space above the sink was calling for it, and I love what it adds here. I'm also super into the tiny lamp and a kitchen trend right now. I think it's so fun. The kitchen opens up to my office space and this room looks completely different from whenever we moved in. I couldn't be more happy with it. My favorite piece in this space is this antique desk that I found on Facebook Marketplace. It adds so much character and really balances out some of the more modern elements like the light fixture. It also works really great with the warm tones in this really pretty Lavoie rug. I love the pop of color that this adds to the space. The question that I get asked most about this space is what color I use to paint the built-ins and this is Cloth and Stone by Sherwin-Williams. It's such a great warm taupe color and just love it so so much. I've slowly collected all of these pieces for shelf decor and love the mix of new with old vintage pieces. I'll have items that I can linked below for you guys and also have a video on how I style these shelves so I'll link that below too if you guys are interested in that. Next, moving into my boys' room, I wanted to have fun with color and pattern in here since it's a kid's room, and I love the boyhood feel you get from this space. I was so excited to find these beds on Facebook Marketplace and thought they would be perfect for this space to add that warmth in contrast to the bold cool blue color. I would planned on adding a little bit more wall decor but since we decided to move I decided I wasn't going to go ahead and style anything else in the space. Right off the boys room is the playroom. We wanted to have a space for guests still, so we added this day bed that we can use for guests whenever they come. I found these beautiful antique children's chairs on Facebook Marketplace and love, love the character that they add to the playroom. They're so special. I love pieces that are beautiful and functional and these chairs definitely fit that. Another detail that really elevated this space are these bifold doors that I just added trim to to give them a really special look. I have another Laloi rug in here and this is definitely one of my favorites. It adds that warmth and color that this neutral space really needs. They're also really good at hiding any spills or anything that my boys make in here. My most recent updated space is this hall bathroom. I wanted to add some subtle color but still feel neutral and this Cheyenne Green by Benjamin Moore was the perfect choice. I love how this affordable chrome faucet really pops against that neutral green tone. And I painted the vanity black 
for contrast and then added these really pretty brass knobs to add a little bit of warmth and milk, mixed metal look. Hanging the shower curtain high really elevated the space and finished it off. Moving into the master bedroom, we really just added paint and decor to personalize this space. My favorite piece is this slipcover bed frame that I actually made from just a normal upholstered bed that again I got on Facebook Marketplace. I love the casual vibe that it adds to the space and the really pretty texture. I obviously love incorporating thrifted items into my spaces, whether that's fixing them up to be more my style, like these lamps, or just leaving them as is. I made a whole video on how I styled my bed, so you guys can check that out if you're interested. This is another really great Laloi rug that ties in the colors of the bedding really, really well. And I actually found this one on Facebook Marketplace, as well as this gorgeous armoire. It adds so much warmth to the space, and I love the simple detail of it. Opposite the bed is this beautiful mirror that I thrifted on top of a simple dresser. Our master bathroom has come a long way with just paint and updating some hardware. I painted the vanity a dark green color and added some black hardware for that mixed metal look as well as swapped out the towel bar for these more modern hooks. I always love adding greenery to a bathroom and this little olive tree was the perfect size for the countertop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this home tour video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell because I'm gonna be uploading so many really fun videos, renovating the new house, all the design decisions, everything like that. And for behind the scenes on that, definitely go ahead and go check out my Instagram at it's Noel Tate. And I'm sharing things over there all the time behind the scenes, so you won't wanna miss out on that. So I will go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Bye.